right, we are back with uh, part two of the Arma 3 Sync uh, installation how-to. Uh, in the first part, we talked about simply installing uh, the base Arma 3 Sync client and setting up a couple of basic uh, parameters with which to launch the game. Now we're going to talk about how to actually connect to and synchronize with the Citadel. So with the client launched here, uh, we are going to click on the Repositories tab. We're going to click the little uh, plus sign here, which is going to add a new repository. And uh, we're going to give it a name. We'll call it uh, Citadel Add-on Repository. And uh, the pre protocol, uh, as they wonderfully spell it here, will be FTP, not HTTP. And this will be a custom URL. Pretty basic. I'll include it in the uh, notes for the article. So you can simply paste it in, and it will be an anonymous connection. So once we configure all this, we're going to hit OK. The repository has been added. Uh, let's check this off. That way we'll be notified if the repository has changed when we've launched our client so we know to sync up. And uh, with that installed, we're going to connect to the repository. And uh, we're going to check for add-ons. So we're going to hit the little green check mark here. It now connected to the Citadel and it pulled down a list of all of the add-ons that the Citadel is using. So what you'll see here is anything in red with a uh, yellow uh, triangle with the exclamation point in it, these are files that are new or that have changed. So you're going to want to grab all of those. Um, so we're going to select all and the destination is selected up at the top here. That may be different depending on where you have your Arma 3 uh, application installed. So with that selected, we're just going to uh, click the Start button here. And what that will do is that will go up to the repository now and synchronize all of your add-ons with what the Citadel is running. So we'll click that. And as you can see here, it is running. Your speed will vary depending on your connection and the upstream bandwidth available on the Citadel, which is uh, fairly good. And uh, it will take a little bit of a uh, time to uh, download and install these. So while that's running, I'm going to pause the video and wait for it to complete. I will catch you as soon as the synchronization is complete. Okay, the download is finished here, as you can see. Um, it looks like this took uh, quite a while to run, and that was even from my internal network, uh, which the server is located on. So best to uh, kick this off on your first go-around to, to get synced up and uh, you know, let it run overnight or something like that, uh, because if you sit there and watch it, it's going to take forever. So what it's doing right now is it's... Uh, synchronizing again with the Citadel. It may take a little bit longer this time because it's going through all of your files to make sure that you're uh, completely in sync. Uh, once that finishes, you should see here that we are in good shape, right? Nothing is marked off. Um, everything is synchronized with the Citadel. Nothing is updated. Nothing is deleted. We're in good shape. So now that all of those are uh, synchronized we can go back here to the add-ons and as you can see now it recognizes that these add-ons are installed on your uh, Arma client. Um, sometimes when you update it you need to refresh to get a full listing especially if you add something manually. Um, but other than that uh, you can create a mod set here and uh, something like that so you can actually create a mod set just for the Citadel add-on repository and you can select that and uh, if you do that you can launch the game and it will install all of these particular add-ons uh, you know you can remove it, you can um, add a different uh, group, we can call this, uh, you know in my case I do some editing and uh, you know when I edit um, I may not need very much uh, Depending on the mission, I may just need CBA3, um, maybe a um, you know the RR cap, and uh, uh, you know 
Arma 3 MP, uh, which is the uh, islands, and I can select those and I can start the game. Alright, I'm going to remove that. I'll add the mod set for the Citadel repository again and select it. Uh, with that selected, you can now launch your game and uh, anything, uh, any mission that would be running on the Citadel, you could actively play at this point and not worry about any kind of uh, missing add-ons. Uh, you should be notified because of the checkbox we did before. Uh, if that is updated on the Citadel, I may be adding add-ons from time to time. Um, or you could refresh this manually uh, just to make sure that you are in synchronization. That's pretty much it. Uh, with these uh, installed, you can start. And uh, away we go. That's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you on the server.